Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to be e-tumbling right down on, on r slash tumblr. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Junpei. Oh, I remember, I think I remember um, playing one of the three different versions of this game. Shoot, it's already the 20th! Summer break's almost over! Guess what? Oh yeah, today is the 20th. I can't believe clowns are real, what the frick? Did you just discover mirrors? Shut up! Shut the heck up! <sighs> Kids playing with the water hose during Coast Guard are a demonstration. The longer I look at this, the harder I laugh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that nerd just got hosed. Any tips for art? Go insane. Throw some glitter! Very, very, very true. <clears throat> No language should be mocked other than French. Birds is oisiacs and friend. And no letter is pronounced the way it should, so I just pronounced it wrong. And there are seven of them. It's pronounced Wazo. And yes, I will die mad about it. Wazo hits every vowel in the French alphabet and manages to only be pronounced with two gosh darn syllables. Got a vowels coming out of the wazo. <sighs> Sometimes I think the reason they scrapped the original Hotel Transylvania a Dracula design was, was because they knew that if we got that on a big screen, you guys wouldn't be able to handle, your, handle yourselves. <clears throat> Oh, it can't be that bad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they, it, they'd be new oh, Tumblr Sexy Men. Some internet language things I really like. Phrases like, that's our new thing. It's so shaped, or one of the most animals. Is there a name for this? When people write with little no punctuation, like they are just so done. Or specifically, asking questions without punctuation, like what or why. It's like you want to know, but also you're resigned to the answer. When people will capitalize the thing for emphasis, particularly if they add a trademark symbol to really drive the point trademark home. How we use bold and italic text for emphasis, but they convey it in different ways. But I can't quite explain how. Respond to things exclusively with punctuation because sometimes words fail you and all you can say is Ugh! Very, very, very true. Uh. Cannibalism. Destroy false idols. The croc is eating a croc. <coughs> Guy at Disney. Sir, a small logic defying blue alien from our or fucking space needs a heterosexual romance. Disney CEO. 
Okay, but we gotta know she's female, do you understand? She needs long antenna, I like long hair, mascara, smooth chest, and sticks out a little more because we need to be reminded that she's still got titties even though she's a tiny fucking alien. Guy Disney, should we make her pink, sir? Ricky, you gosh darn genius. Here are my keys. Go to my house and bang my wife. Wow. <clears throat> That's weird, right? We're both girls after all. Marissa, you live in Toho, stupid. It's only girls. Do they make Toho but for boys? Team Fortress 2. What the heck is my computer loading? Why is my mouse getting all loading on me? Anyway. <sighs> Ryan, are these are supposed to be the same exact person from the same exact universe? Hang on. Oh, it's Transformers. Ah! Slow computer. Oh, he's just hanging out with the grandkids. It's fine. Let him be a dinosaur. It's a break from the horrors of war and the meaninglessness of the slow extinction of their, their species. He's through a, a baseless, it's useless war against the, his probably ex. I could see he, he Optimus and Megatron having had yeah, data in the, in the past. Oh yeah, by the way, I think this was already in a Tumblr post, actually. But just gonna spoil it. All Transformers are trans. Makes sense. They're called Transformers, not Cisformers, silly. Even though they're probably not true, the Shanks snitch memes are hilarious because of how over the top they are. It's not enough that Shanks might be a villain. Shanks is lowly. Is a lowly sucker who will rat on anyone to appease his billionaire and oligarch masters, even depicting him as an actual rodent man. One Piece film rat. No, rat. I did not read that right. I'm telling Garros. Hang on. Is Shanks like. Oh no, I do not like the idea of um, depicting humans as rats. That's historically been used in a very bad light. There are so many. Give me a bit to, um... Wait. Oh no, I actually screwed this all up. Oh dear. To opening the image, not the link. My bad. Why are there six images in this one post? 
Oh, well, I guess we'll find out what uh, this is actually about. You know, when it loads. A while ago, someone sent me the Buff Kitty video. It was supposed to be a kid with a muscular hypertrophy. Muscular hypertrophy is a real genetic mutation that increases the amount of muscle mass. This is ra this is a random genetic mutation in cats and dogs, but it's intentionally bred in some types of cattle so to produce more meat. But it's mostly seen in adult animals because it takes a while for the muscle to develop. This kid is really young. It didn't look right to me. It didn't look right to me. Oh my goodness. So I tracked out the original video. It's from China. A guy gets home from work at night to find this kid wandering around the neighborhood. He took it to the vet. This kid is filled with air. The vet drained the air and the kid is okay now. This is a rare condition called subcutaneous eczema, which it air in which air gets trapped under the skin. It can be caused by tons of different things, like a punctured lung or an infection or a scooby or a scooby diving in injury, etc. In humans, it's usually just swelling in a small area, like this. But compared to people, cats and dogs and cats have much looser skin. When they get the same... And, so when, and they get the same condition, the air can easily spread to other parts of the... Uh, develop, so it can develop this, this full-body puffiness, just like the kitten. Skin, air, body, I do not need to be seeing an x-ray of a spine. I hate spines. But like, animals also respond to this differently. Hedgehogs, for example, have really baggy skin. They could roll into a ball and they could pull their skin around themselves and drawstring it short. Shut short like a... Shut sort of like a hoodie. I could not read apparently. Because their skin's so used when they get of a tenuous if it's emphysema, it causes their entire body to inflate. This is called balloon syndrome and it's a condition specific to hedgehogs. This is plain old as uh, of cutaneous is in Isema, but it affects hedgehogs so differently compared to every other animal that it has a specific name. This is the skin. This is all air. Oh my goodness. The truth is the same. They air is a flea treated for whatever caused it to develop in the first place. And hedgehogs, it's most often entries from being hit by cars. <laughs> Just so tired and done. Okay, so that if a syndrome is a veterinary condition that uniquely affects hedgehogs, is sonic inflation art a form of scientific illustration? The end of this post hit me like this. Holy crap. <laughs> I was so confused as to why the heck there was sonic inflation art. Manager in the fan fiction universe, I don't care how many flower petals you're coughing up, you need to come in a day. You better stop coughing up flowers or you're fired from work. Algorithms are causing human language to reroute around them in real time. 
I'm listening to this YouTuber saying things like, this, a bad guy unalived his minions because the word kill are, de are associated with demonetization. Academics trying to reconstruct what uh, went wrong in a thousand years are going to think demonetization is a, f a variant of demon uh, the demonization, which is incorrect, but only technically. These words were invoked for ritual purposes. It is believed that certain words had the power to attract the wrath of a fear an entity called the algorithm, whose assumed powers were as far-reaching as they were vague. Ow. Why don't you draw men with small chests? I don't think you I've ever seen you draw a guy without huge boobs. Cause men with small boobs killed my grandma, okay? Oh. Ancient Greek word of the day. Kakotheris, unfitted to endure summer heat. This literally means bad summer. Pass it on. Reblog if you, too, are bad at summer. I'm very bad at summer. Yes, teachers, I'm going to simplify the terminology for the senior so they're not intimidated by a form of Italian and French. Dance teachers, if these seven-year-olds don't know, it's called a a pas de bore, a a pas de a chat for good player in a, a, the museum in Kakovic. In what's the point? Dance. Our naming convention seeks to maintain in our tradition and live the ancient beauty. Perhaps if we speak the same language as Valentine, we can achieve his greatness. Music. It called oompa because it go oomp and then it go pa. So I just like music more than dance now. I told my girlfriend that I was having an episode earlier, and she replied, Is it the beach episode? And it shocked me so much that it grounded me immediately. Got asked by a nurse at psych ward, Are you like legit sad? As I was sobbing on a chair. Made me stop perplexed. Made me stop crying because I was so perplexed. I want you all to know that this is like a legitimate strategy that's taught to people. I say something so freaking dumb or absurd that distracts the person's brain so much that it drags them back to and grounds them. Like, people are actually taught to do this. Whew. <sighs> Okay, but you know the classic mom arm to the passenger's chest when brake can suddenly move? I'm tackling about the idea of drought after traveling with with Jessica developing the habit of grabbing the person as me with Cindy by scrub of their shirt and yoking them backwards away from danger. He does it to Lambert when they're clearing out a nest or something near uh, uh, K.M. Warren, completely out of muscle of memory, and it almost ends in blood. I'm not sure what I'm talking about anymore. Hey, whenever MFs in the horror movies are like, what was that noise? Bro, you and I know, both know it's creatures. I don't even want superpowers to fight people anymore. 
I just want to put out forest fires. I do like that these days. Um, I do like that they say super er, 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 hero movies are like more focusing on more than just fight the bad guys. It's also about uh, saving people because that's what superheroes also need to do. You know, doing the right thing, maybe not murdering people just because they, they went down a, a wrong path in life. Mostly out of circumstance and not really out of a choice. Anyway, no opinion. NFTs are, are stupid, but the only thing that should be treated like that is priceless pieces of art. I'm talking Van Gogh, Monet, Rembrandt, all of that. Billionaires can buy it and say, I own that, but it's only ever allowed to be displayed in museums where everyone can see it. No more privately displaying historical art. It's meant to be viewed, not sort of way in a billionaire's mansion. I think I'm going to uh, end it here. If you liked today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!